On today's episode, we're going to tie a walking damsel. So we're going to start with a 12 2XL curved nymph. I'm just going to start a base of 70 aught. We're going for a light olive body. We're going to use a Sculpin Olive small UTC wire. The cat's going to sneak in here. Hi, Rambo. It's going to sneak in here and try to be in our, our video. So as I was saying, we're going to tie our wire, bring it down to roughly the start of the bend and just leave that for now. Going to grab some marabou. Pull yourself off a small chunk of that. I'm going to use that for our tail and our body. Figure out how long you want your tail. You want a little bit of a wispy tail, but not too long of a tail. Tie that in. Use your finger to lock it on the, the top of the shank. Give yourself a couple wraps. Advance your thread up. And then just wrap that up. We are going to go over this here in a second. So you got your, your body tied on, your underbody, I should say. So at this point, I build up a little base here. Take my bead chain eyes. And I like to get them on at this point in the tie since I'm at the front before I work myself back. So get those locked in, they're nice and tight. At this point we're going to grab some 1 8 clear scud back. Cut mine on a slight angle for my tie-in. Tie it in and run yourself all the way back to where you started your tail. A couple solid wraps, then run all the way back up. With the gaps in your thread and your marabou underneath, it's going to create a segmented body segmented colored body. At this point, you're just going to pull your scud back with a little bit of tension, wrapping up the body, just slightly overlapping each wrap. And as you get to the back, just loosen up your wraps a bit and then tie it off right behind the eyes. Don't cut it off yet. So once you've got it tied back there, just figure eight it over the eyes. And then we're going to give it one or two wraps while manipulating your thread to where you want it. Right in front of the eyes. Use a scud back to push those wraps tight behind the eyes. So at this point, bring your thread back behind your eyes. Now you can take your wire and do a rib over the body. Cat's gonna sneak in for another visit. Can't always help that. So now your rib is tied in, wiggle it off. Now grab whichever dubbing you have on hand. It's going to match your tail and your body. I'm just going to spin that onto our thread. 
and then we're going to figure eight around the eyes. You want to make sure you're dispersing it evenly above the shank and below so that you don't have any gaps. So now, <clears throat> what makes this the walking damsel is the legs. Typically, when you grab your Ostatrel, hi Rambo, you're in my way. Nobody can see the fly. Gotta move, bud. Come on. Out of the way, kitty. So. Back to our legs, now that we're no longer interrupted. We're gonna take some Ostatural. I like to take six strands. And peel it off the shank so you get those little curlies. And what we're gonna do is we're going to lay those curlies right behind the eyes tie them in with one or two tight solid wraps check your lengths make sure they're where you want them to be right on the underside bring them to the length you want Make sure they're all kind of splayed out here and there. Give it a couple more solid wraps. And then just trim the ends. Now, typically what I've done is I've been tying ostrich mayflies and I have a pile of those ends sitting there in a pot pile so that once I've got enough of those I turn around and tie these. At this point you want to take a little bit of your dubbing. Not too much because we just have to hide the back of those legs. Let's do a couple wraps there. Then we're gonna take our scud back, bring it over, make sure it lays nice and flat. Do a couple solid wraps. And then we're just gonna whip finish. And then we're gonna take a small little tuft of dubbing once again. And what we're going to do is we're just going to hide our thread from that whip finish. So when we do our next whip finish, you're going to push your thread down to the body of the fly so that you have dubbing in the center here. And then that way, as you do the whip finish, it takes that dubbing dubbed thread and covers up all the rest. Take your scissors on a slight angle with your scud back. You're just going to create a V notch. It's going to just over overhang the body, and that's going to be your your wing buds. So there you have it. There is your walking damsel, as I like to call it. It's a cool, neat little pattern, semi-realistic, and fun to tie. So until the next one. Tight lines and happy flies.